Welcome to Tell You Later, the show where we guarantee a laugh or your money back. Thanks to all those who support us on Patreon. By the way, there's always room for more. And don't forget to like and subscribe to their channel. We haven't got a title song for this show, so we're singing this thing instead. Okay. It's really just a substitute. Nonetheless, the melody may stay in your head. Oh, I hope so. Because it's a tune. It's a tune. You'll love to croon. You'll love to croon. Ah, but there's one thing you should know. We have to confess we do not possess a title song for this show. Ain't it peculiar? Believe it or not. We haven't got a title song for this show. Oops. <laughs> okay, so welcome to another episode of Tell You Later. Thank you so much to all the patrons out there who have supported been supporting us all this time. We really appreciate you and those who have gone to Merchelator and bought some cool swag like this hat I happen to be wearing right now. And uh, so this episode, I'm so excited. I am so very excited because actually we're out here in Colorado and my special guest is Marshall Younger. If you don't know, Marshall Younger is a writer. He's a writer for Adventures in Odyssey. He's a writer for a whole bunch of other things. He's a screenwriter. He's written several features, I believe. And of course, we will find out ma more in a second. Marshall, we finally meet in person. I'll tell you later. <laughs> <laughs> it's been way too long. <laughs> I know. And you're so excited, right? Yes, I'm very, very excited. I know, because... Paul and Phil said it was a marvelous experience. They did? No. They, 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 I, 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 I haven't <laughs> talked to them about it, but I'm, he, sure that, I'm sure they felt that way. Phil Waller and Paul McCuster, we had a good time, but Marshall... We did not get off to the best start, we did, did we? We did not, no. Why is that? Okay, do you want me to tell the whole story? Yeah, why not? Okay, I'll tell it from my perspective, and, okay. then, and you can tell it. And then I'll interject my, any objections <clears throat> I might have or All contradictions. Right. Okay, here we go. So I, I had only been on the team, or I, I, was, I was a freelancer. Freelance writer. I was a freelance writer for Odyssey, and, uh, and I'd only been on the team for maybe like nine months. And... Um, and I wrote a show called Fences. Wait, how did you get it? All right, finish the story, but then I do want to know how you got on this show. Okay, we'll go back to that. Right, okay. We'll go back to that. But uh, but this this one is this is a better story. Okay. <laughs> uh, so I wrote a show called Fences, and I think I think there was also another one called War of the Words. Ah, yes. Oh yes, you yes, there was. You, you remember it not so fondly, <laughs> apparently. Well, um, so okay, so I, I after I wrote those shows, and I, I wasn't you know involved in the re recordings, and I didn't know you, and I'd never met anyone except Paul. Um, I didn't, I haven't even, I hadn't even met Phil or anything like that. So um, wow. So uh, so so uh, it, it was recorded in a studio, and you guys were, you and Will were both in it, and uh, and I heard after the recordings that neither one of you were very real happy with my depiction of Eugene and Connie. Um, and and, and here, here's what I was told. Here's what I was told. Uh, I, I said, um, Paul said to me, he said, um, Will's not going to say anything to Marshall, but Katie will. Okay, that's what I that's what I was told later that he said to someone. So so I thought, oh my goodness, well, what's going on? Well, so so I got a, I, I got a, I was became I got on staff. They didn't tell they told you that that I was going to say something to you. Yes, well well I he I heard later that that's what like Paul said to Phil or something like that. Beware. Yeah, Will won't say anything. Katie will say something. And um, and so I, I came on staff, and then my first recording uh, I, when I went out to um, to Burbank. I remember it very vividly because I was I was really nervous to meet you after hearing hearing this. I said, "What is she gonna what is she gonna say to me?" And uh, and and I, I was I remember it. I was going down the hall. I was with Paul, and I was going down the hall down in Mark Grau, and and going toward the kitchen. And you were coming from the kitchen, about to do your scene. And Paul said, uh, uh, "Marshall, this is Katie," and. Uh, and, and and we we met we met uh, made eye contact and you didn't say wasn't hi how are you uh, nice to meet you it was we need to talk. <laughs> oh oh you've got your new uh, tell you later tote bag. 
dude. I love yeah, it. Did you get that at Merchelator? I sure did. Merchelator.com. It's so cute. Com. It, look. Super Tell cute. Tell ya later bag. And That's it's got awesome. everything in it. Do I they got, have hats? <laughs> that wasn't so bad, though, was it? Well, and then, you, well, then you went, then you went and did your scene, and I, so I, I sat in the kitchen, you, just, 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 just my, my nervously, you know, <laughs> waiting, waiting, waiting for you to come out what to finish you your think, scene. What did you think? What did you? Were you afraid of? I didn't know what you were going to say. I didn't. I didn't even know Do you. you. I, did, I, didn't, I didn't even know you. Do you think I have the power to fire you or something? <laughs> What'd you say? Do you think I have the power to fire you or something? No, no, no. Well, it's, you know, I was I was brand new. I was brand new. I didn't know. You know, I I, I, just I wanted I wanted I to just, fit in with the team. I, I didn't want to. I, I didn't want to get get the, the like the main character mad at me. I didn't want you to leave without us talking. Well, okay, and I said okay. it very briefly. You said it briefly because you, I got you, were on, you were on your way. So I, so I'm in the kitchen. My my knee is bouncing up and down because I'm worried <laughs> worried about. And you you finally came out and you and, and you um and I don't remember much of that conversation except I do remember one thing that you said. You said. You mess with Connie, you're messing with me. <laughs> and I was like, oh, I, I, I was, I was, I, I was, it was mortifying. It was, Do it I was look mortifying. That it was, it was a, Do it was a, it was a horrifying conversation. Um, and, and how many I, years ago is this? This, uh, this was, this would have been 1994. Goodness so begin, gracious, beginning of that's almost. Almost thirty years. Yes. Yeah, so, so, so I, so I, it was, it was, it was, it was like I say, it was a horrifying moment. But looking back on it now, or you know, I, I after after a, a few years, I, I got over. I, I, by the way, I didn't write for Connie for a long time. See, and I, so I kind of slit my own throat here. <laughs> exactly. And, and right, I'm work. not writing for Connie. I, I lost the opportunity to work because <clears throat> yeah. obviously yeah. you didn't write scripts for me. Right. That's 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 what so happened. So that was but, a bad. Let that be a lesson to you guys. Don't do what I did. Right. If you ever need to confront a writer. But, what but. What should I have said? That, okay, that, do that, your, that's, you, that's this said, is your big butt. What is it? That said. Yes. Years later, I look, I look back at that and I thought, that is amazing how much they take their characters that seriously. They say, you're messing with Connie, you're messing with me. That really, it really impressed me. You know, and I thought, this is, this, that's taking this very seriously. What does and, she and mean I, by that? And, is and there I, anything in my bed? <laughs> 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 Stephanie, but, uh, go check. Yeah, <laughs> but I, I was, and I, and I was, I was impressed by, and, and that is, that's, and that's the reason why you're so good at Connie, is that you take her seriously. And, 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 I do. And, 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 and you, and you will say that in the studio all the time. You'll say stuff. You'll say stuff. You know, this doesn't sound like Connie. You know, and for a long time, it took me a while to figure out how to how to write for Connie, uh, and uh, and now I, you do a really great job. Well, thank you. Now you do a really well, great thank job. You. Yeah. So. How should I have approached that? Do you well, think you should have said, you, you know, you maybe you, a, not a, so a couple of a couple of niceties, you know, just See, the, general... like that Oreo cookie thing. Say something nice, then say what you yeah, really exactly. want to say, you then say something nice. That's right. Sandwich it between good things. I, I was I really, really like young. that. You could. <laughs> I. I and I was, I was, I was, I was too. Skills. <laughs> I was too. That's why I was scared. Of I, that's terrible, though, isn't it? But do you think Connie would have said that to a writer? Oh, yeah. So yes. you see, yeah, that's the, we're kind of one in yeah, the that's same. What Con, that's exactly what Connie would have done. But yeah, that wasn't nice. I should have said, "Oh, hi, Marshall. It's so great to to meet you. I understand you're new. Would you like to have coffee? Would that have been better? Yes." Yeah. Okay, so if you ever have to confront somebody, don't but threaten them in a hallway. It, it wouldn't have made as good of a story, though. No, no. The good story was, we need to talk. We need to talk. <laughs> and it was daggers coming I, out of the eyes. It wasn't daggers. No. <laughs> it's just, don't. what I meant was, don't go anywhere. <laughs> I want to talk with you. Right. But it, that's all I said to you. I didn't say what well, well, the cause, problems cause you, you were. You were on you were on, a, on the way to the studio. Yeah, I know. You but did we ever talk? Yeah, after that's what that? I'm saying. In the kitchen, you did. You, 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 did we, I give you any more talk? information other than don't I, I'm, mess I'm with sure, me or I'm sure you're you, dead I'm, meat? I'm sure you. I'm sure you were very nice in the in the conversation. Um, but you don't. Except you, for I don't remember that those parts. You don't remember any of that. You <laughs> just said I'm not writing Connie, for Connie anymore. I'm going to recreate daggers. So did you create other characters instead that you could write for? And you what know what? You that, 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 that's what I ended up doing. Uh, is is I I ended up 
taking on either my own characters or the kid characters. I wrote a lot for the kids back then, which is exactly what Paul and Phil needed because they were very interested, more interested in writing more of the, the adult stuff. Like Paul was interested in doing the, the relationship mm-hmm. between Eugene and Katrina and, uh, and Phil was interested in, you know, and then the adult characters, Bernard and Bart and, and, mm-hmm. and Connie and Eugene. Uh, and so I ended up writing for the, more for the kids and, and that's, and because it's a kid's show that they kind of needed that. And so it was, yeah, I, I filled a nice hole. Yeah, and I and I buried myself in a pit. So okay, <laughs> but now you've been working on and off yep. for Adventures in Odyssey for quite a long time now. Th- thirty years. It's thirty years this this year. Wow. Yeah. And like now you're kind of semi-famous, right? People recognize you. It, 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 a, a very a very small group of of loyal fans. Yes. Might, What's that might, like? Might recognize my name. Yeah. I know what well, it was like. Let me just say, we went to an event last night, yeah. a show, a dinner show. Yeah. And we were walking, and I was wearing my Odyssey shirt. I don't know if you were wearing yours. No, I, I was wearing a different shirt. But, but and yeah. we were walking, and this family, this little girl in the family said to me, um, oh, I like your shirt. I said, oh, do you listen to Avengers and Odyssey? And she says, yes. And I said, that's Marshall Younger. And she went, oh. <gasps> I mean, she started to go crazy. And, yeah, and, yeah, and I said, "Over well, you." But wait, but well, wait a minute. There's more. <laughs> Do you know who this is? And they went even crazier. Which I, I, I don't think I would have gotten that kind of reaction had you been introduced first. Oh, I bet. I you think would. there's an, a kid. <gasps> because that's Marshall. not. Oh yeah, yeah. You too. Yeah, I remember. And you. I, I know that Joy. No, 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 no. Because it's happened to you more than once, hasn't it? It has. Yeah, it, it, it's, it happens to me. It, it, it's just like I say. It's a very loyal fan. What that will that will recognize my name. You said because they have to listen all the way to the right. end have, of the credits. The, the people that are the, that are the biggest fans are the ones that listen to the closing credits. But wouldn't credits. they have to listen to the closing credits to know who I am too? Think about it. Well, to know your name, maybe. Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. yeah. But but I, but I mean I mean I mean people re- see see uh, it, at at the not not at the event but when we were at Focus yesterday mm-hmm. there were people that were recognizing you by your voice, and that. Oh. Right. Yeah. I forgot that part. Yeah. yeah. I forgot that part. Okay. So you've been doing this, and um, now I'm. I, I I really appreciate when you write. As a matter of fact, I tell a story. Um, there, I. Some people think that you might work on Odyssey five days a week, at being on staff. Yeah. We only work like four <laughs> times a year, but there are people who think the actors are in the studio five days a week recording and we're not it's yeah. very just four times a year if we're lucky and it doesn't we don't even know how many like the next time they come out i'm not in a show any shows but my point is so i get work elsewhere and i yeah. was looking for work on a, a certain website and it was a, a like a a missionary type organization of a place in Florida one hope was looking one hope yeah, one right. hope was yeah. looking for voice actors for an audio play so I thought that sounded exciting so I I emailed them and they said that's oh okay but we really just want actors who are in Florida to come to our studio and this was a while ago because um, now we yeah. work a lot remotely, but back right, then right. It, they didn't. But I had my own studio. I said, okay, but if you don't find the actors that you need, I'm here if you want to use me. Mm-hmm. Well, eventually they didn't find the actors they needed in Florida. They came back to me and they sent me the script. And I looked at the script. Did they know who they were talking to? When Maybe. Okay. But they wanted people in Florida. What's the fangirl up to this week? To find out, stay tuned till after the credits. Okay. I don't think they did. I mean, a lot of, you know... There's nobody in Florida that can... This was a while ago. This was like 15 years ago, okay. maybe? I don't know. And, you know, the community is getting bigger and more... Dis- they're dis- dispersed. Like, people who work on this project end up over here. Yeah. And they're all People know who each other are a little bit more than they did and and this organization does do audio dramas but it isn't their normal thing right. so they sent me the script the point is they sent me the script and I opened it up and I thought gosh this script looks familiar I mean this just the the way it looked the mm-hmm. format 
And I looked in the corner, and you had written it. And you would use the same format you use for Odyssey. That's right, yeah. It's kind of funny. I don't know how to explain this, but I work on, you know, cartoons, films, other some other projects. Mm-hmm. They don't all... They all aren't formatted the same. Mm. There's maybe a little right. difference here. Maybe there's numbers for the lines on some. But this, I'm like, this looks like what I'm used to. This looks like another, and that was your, your project. And it ended up, everybody knows that my son Adam worked on Novacom. Right. But it's my Cal. son Aline actually worked on One Hope, and he played one of the counselors. Oh, that's right. I forgot about that. Yeah, that yeah. was his first kind of acting job, Very and they cool. ended up using him too. Yeah. As like a, and because he had been, and he did really well because he had been a, a um, wildlife leader or, mm-hmm. or young life leader. Okay. And this was kind of about, uh, and this particular script was for people who are blind. Right. Can you tell me and more it, about it? What it was oh exactly? Oh my goodness, it was Can so long remember? ago. I, I just know it, it. It involved a blind. The main character was a blind person, and. Um, I, I, I'm sorry, I don't remember. That. I don't remember that script at all. So, my, well, was, Aline played the guy who kind of helped the blind guy. To, it's both their mission. One hope, I guess, is to yeah. preach the gospel to <clears throat> all different kinds of <clears throat> people in different parts of the world. And for some reason, this project was specific for blind people to listen right. to. I right. think, right? Right. But it was really great. Which is the same for Odyssey. Odyssey is a lot, a lot of blind people. We have a lot of visually yeah. Yeah. impaired people who listen, and it's it's really fun. I mean, yeah. it's there. They, it's great. Yeah. You know, they they don't have that much to. I mean, when we started, I don't think their choices were as as broad as they are now. So um, I want to ask you about writing a script because I don't write scripts. Oh. So crew of one thinks we should put our beverages on so soft make, materials so, so we don't bang. Way. Okay. Um, when you by, by it, the way, yes. Why didn't I get the bells? We is this is this not, oh, you know, is, is this not a special? Oh, we didn't bring the bells. Phil and Paul got bells. That's true, but Phil and Paul were in California. Okay, so you just and didn't bring the bells. And you're here, and Diane didn't get bells either because. See, that's. Do we do we have anything that looks like that's a bell? Very a cl- Wait, I know. Hold on. Oh. oh. It's on the phone he's using to shoot, but I have. Hold on a second. I have a bell. I have a whole series of sound okay. effects Will and I used to use. Let me see. Because if, if can... you don't have any bells. We need a bell. Sound we need to of... talk. <laughs> oh shoot. That's terrible. We're going to have to remember to bring the bells. Bell. Sound effects. Let's see. Bells. It's okay. I'm looking on my see, computer. See, it's, it's not, it's, it, it's not, it, it's not it's, as fun if I don't get to like, like just punch you it. just hit it. You're absolutely right. Yeah. But you know what? I have a feeling. It, it, it may, yeah, hear that, folks? If we ring those bells, we are not in our oh, own gonna, home. And there are the some canines. Oh, the dogs are going to react to the go, bells. And they might go crazy. All right, we don't have to do the bells. So we're going to have to. But you know what? Could you just make like a buzzing sound? Or can you ding? No. Ding, 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 ding. Verbally ding. Act like you're hitting a bell and we'll add it later. Oh. (laughs) We can try doing that. Okay. (laughs) Some foley in the air. See, he was so excited because he thought he could have a bell. You know, when Townsend was on, he was, I don't know if you saw it. It bothered him that both bells didn't have the same ding. Oh, they, 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 were, different, uh, they were different. different yeah, he had to like something. fiddle with them. Okay, so back to my question. Okay. Because I don't write. When you're writing a script, I don't know if you guys have really <clears> ever <throat> talked about this. Maybe you have, and I either wasn't listening or didn't hear it. Mm-hmm. But do you do an outline? Like, how do you decide? I, I can't even fathom how you go about writing a script from beginning to end. And I know there are people who listen and watch this show that yeah. are probably interested <clears throat> in writing. I mean, I can give you the whole process that we, that we do things for, for Odyssey. Okay. Is that we is that we we, we have uh, writers meetings every every year. Mm-hmm. Febu- February we have we have a week long thing. We go out, we go out off site, and we uh, party your brains out. Yes, yeah, it's, okay. it's crazy. <laughs> but <laughs> you get crazy. You're getting there, huh? So and we, 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 we talk about the next like year year and a half of shows. Sometimes sometimes even longer. And that's how many episodes. And that's how many. That's that's uh we we, we get it, we do at least twenty four. Okay. We talk about at least twenty four and and sometimes wow. sometimes more because that 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 includes two albums of six apiece and then twelve club shows. 
Okay, this so is you have like a big white board. Yeah, we have a big white board, okay. and we and we very we old decide. school. Yep. Mm-hmm. And uh, well, uh, yeah, and and then we um, okay, so, so we do that, and then everybody has everybody leaves with uh, shows that they're going to write. Okay, so the, the individual writer goes out, goes and does an out, does an outline, and um, and it's so you, you do. Is it what my question? I was first thinking, is it like how you learn how to write in school or college, or like when you were learning writing or, or coming over here to write? Did you find that it was different in real life? Well, it's 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 the same in that it that stories have to have a beginning a middle and an end oh yeah which, there's which, that. which sounds okay. which sounds really simple but it but but it's it's you know not not, all, not everyone writes that way yeah uh, you, you have you have a beginning which is uh, you have act one you have act two you have act three okay and that's that's the way you know we, we've learned how to write screenplays and that's the way we do these things these uh, do we ever have episodes. act four we try not to have an act four because here, because here's the thing there, there's there's two commercial breaks Ah. In, in a script, in a, in a show, and um, and we, we got to discipline ourselves to make sure that there's a, a a big moment at the end of each, at the beginning of each. Uh, okay, commercial. so that's and, and it really it really, it really ma- helps us discipline in, 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 in making sure that that we've got you know some so those a, a big good, a good those, building story those big moments are not accidental. That's right. They need to be come, come right before the commercial break. And even though we don't, you know, commercial breaks on the internet don't really mean anything. There it, it goes back but to you go, still goes, have goes back to radio days. Break? We still have commercial breaks. But do you well, need well, them well, anymore? Well, we still we still air on the radio, so we still have to have have that. Okay. For the radio stations. Okay. Um, and so, and so uh, act, act one sets things up. Act two is usually the toughest part because it's the it it builds the story and then act three is the climax and the denouement. And then okay, so that's so that's French for denouement. I don't, I don't know. It? I don't know. It's French for some, probably something. I'm not <laughs> sure exactly. What, if you know what it means, put it. Obviously, put it he comments. doesn't know, put but put it in the comments I, I'm, I'm not sure. I'm not sure how it's translated, but anyway. Okay, so you so you have an idea. Okay, I think this will happen here. Yep. This will happen here, yep. and this will happen at the end. And so, and then you got to figure out the dialogue. Yeah, well, we 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 we, we uh, do an entire outline, scene by scene outline, and then we send it to the other writers, and the, and the writers give their notes, and then we either do another outline or we go straight to first draft, and then we and then we. So you don't write anything by yourself. They always it's, it's, have input. It's uh, yeah, it's collaborative in that way. It's collaborative, definitely in the writers' meetings in February, mm-hmm. and then it's really collaborative in the notes that they, that people give. But it's usually up to the the the, the main. Have you ever do done those. anything that had no notes? No. <laughs> oh no, no. There's there are always there are always notes. I, I, there's there there's sometimes when you're uh, for a full script like a thirty page script, mm-hmm. there are sometimes 120, 150 notes. <laughs> That's a good show. <laughs> From all different, from, how many, from, how many different, different people? Well, this four, is because because I, I I usually send them out. It, it, it varies because I'm the one that sends out the, for notes. Wait a second! I forgot to say that you're the showrunner now. The <clears throat> showrunner, yes. Which I I, I, I nobody can, knows what that means. No, could you? What is that? Show showrunner is I'm. I'm I don't know. I'm like okay. He's always been here for thirty years. Yeah, seems to be doing the it, same it's, thing. It's, it's actually. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> He's been doing the same thing. The whole time. Um, but, but now they've given me this lofty title. No, it's uh, so, so a showrunner is uh, um, it, it, it is a brand new title that they, they've never used before. Uh, and, and did you get a raise with that? Should I ask? Never mind. I, I know. I came in as the showrunner this, oh, this last so, time. Okay. So because I, I know sometimes they'll just say, "Oh, you have a new title." You don't get any but more it money. Get any more money. But it <laughs> that's, sounds that's not good. The way, yeah, that's not the way it happened. Okay. But. Okay. So the showrunner is responsible for the overall direction of the storylines. Okay. So I'm in charge of this, these meetings in February, and um, and, and, and I'm, I'm in charge of, of divvying out shows to all the individual writers, and and then uh, and I'm in, I'm in charge of, of ding ding ding. I'm going to pretend like this, I hit this, the truth bell because that's a true fact. That's true. Oh, I thought the ding, ding, ding was, okay, time's up. No, ding, ding, ding. Your story's That's over. Your story's now. over now. No, ding, ding, Everyone's ding, ding. bored. I just, I forgot that you like is, is to that, have is, the bell is, effect. Is, is, is that the, ding. Uh, is that yeah, the everyone's bored? Ding. Oh, we got one. 
Can you find a desk, Bell? <laughs> Thanks. That's Marshall's wife, Stephanie. She's trying to help. She's yes, yeah, she's being very helpful. Thank That's you. Very, we want a desk, you. Bell. Ding, ding, ding. Okay. Always. So showrunner is in charge of the direction. The overall direction of the show. Yes. What does that mean? It, it means it means you know if if we decide okay let's we uh let, we need this character to to do something let's make let's give him an arc, and and that's you know an arc like means. I, a, a, sto purpose? A, st a story, a storyline, a, story a full storyline from beginning, middle, and end. So there's an arc, and within the arc, there are scripts that also have beginning, middles, and ends. That's right. That's yes. like a family tree. <clears throat> like for instance, for instance, we just recently did this story arc where we involved Olivia. That you were you were in quite a few of those shows uh -huh. that involved Olivia kind of struggling with her faith, and so and so we we. Uh, uh, it's it has it has it's completely individual episodes that stand on their own, but then uh, there were six of them, and then uh, but but then the six is is an, is an all you know he, she's struggling here and struggling here and struggling here and then she by the by the end she comes to a new conclusion. Whatever. Okay, so yes. that's and your job is to say I think this is going to be what we're going to do. Yes. Okay. Yes. It's the it's it's the big picture stuff and as well as the little. Picture so you have stuff. the final say. Do you yeah, have well, to like arm wrestle or? Sometimes, sometimes. Do you say we have to talk? Sometimes with to Dave, the... he's he's stronger than me, but he's getting older, so <laughs> maybe I'll, maybe I'll beat him at some point. Yeah, I mean that's that's <laughs> a big, powerful decision. Yeah, and yeah. Clearly, you feel it, it, capable. <laughs> I, I, I mean, I mean, it, yeah. I, I, I mean, I know I don't. As a matter of fact, I don't. I, I, I always, I'm, I'm always second guessing and thinking, what am I doing here? <laughs> yeah. But. Here you are. Yeah, somebody's got it. Somebody's, somebody's got to do somebody's it. Gotta somebody's got to run a show. Might as well be yeah. you. Might as well. <laughs> <laughs> I guess they picked me. Okay. Oh, well, that's Wait, nice. Is that a desk bell? There's a bell. Can you hit it repeatedly? <laughs> so well, that's it's pretty a good. Delayed. It's a little delayed. That's pretty okay. Does it stop? Wait, does it ever stop? <laughs> that's the other question. Okay. Okay, it's, it's out of it's out of control. This is not. Okay, thanks, Steph. <laughs> She's very helpful. Okay, so then we'll just say that'll be all the truth bells for the whole show. Okay, they have right. just done just, it. Just, just uh, spread those out. Okay, so yes, yeah, so okay, so you're the showrunner, and you run it, and we're talking about how you put the script together. So you have the idea of the beginning, idea in the middle, idea of the end. So I mean, how can how many notes can you have? You don't even have a script. You just have an idea. Yeah. Well, I, I said there were like there were like 120, 150 notes on a script, but not necessarily on an, on an outline. Outline okay. you might have 50. And how much in deep information is in the outline? Yeah. Well, it it, it, it depends, <laughs> depends on the writer. I um I some people put like uh, Phil will put dialogue in the in the uh, actual dialogue in, the, mm. in, in his outlines so he, his is he, really he like, an outline his his his, his, his is, like is getting script. his his get gets what way more specific his it's not a script but it, he, he does get way more specific and and does that on purpose because he he doesn't he likes to get everything set you know figured out before he goes to script like everything make sure that he knows that he's got everything in place what does that mean? Everybody's you look so confused. I am because I don't know how to write. So, like, what does that mean? Everything in place. Like, Me, what's the difference? If I were meaning, writing an outline, okay, this is okay. Let's. I was writing an outline. We're gonna do a tell a later show. <clears throat> let's just say. Let's just pretend like I knew what I was doing before each show, or had even. Nobody had any believes idea. that you're gonna do an outline for this show. But if I were, okay. So I said, okay. This is the most random <laughs> show I've ever <laughs> seen in my life. Really. The most? Well, the one. Ding, 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 ding. <laughs> <laughs> that gets a bell. That gets an imaginary bell. That's very cool. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> All right. So. Any sound effects you can put there? <laughs> if okay. you, so if I said, okay, uh, we're going to uh, open the show, thank the patrons, introduce Marshall. That's part one. Second part, talk about stuff. Third Cause Mark Marshall to question his uh, sanity. Okay, third part. <laughs> you're, well, you're well on your way to doing that. <laughs> he thinks, okay, we get that resolved. All confusion is resolved, and that's the end of the story. Is that an outline? Not really, because, uh, I mean, it, it's not an outline like we would write an outline, because we get into more, much more specifics. What the heck? Like, in, in, instead of, um, instead of uh, your, your, 
talk to Marshall, it would be, what are you, you going to talk about? You've got this, 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 you're going to talk about this, 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 and this. Okay, so we're going to talk, so I'm going to have all these yes. questions all bullet, planned bullet, out. bullet points. And also how you're going to respond. Well, Marshall gets up and walks away. <laughs> Katie goes after him. Like, stuff like that, right? Right. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Steph, ha Steph has a faux Steph bell. Steph has a big bell. <laughs> we go to commercial. Yeah. We get Marshall back so in. You get all that. That's, that's he an He says that's he's sorry. Yeah. Katie gives him a cookie. We wouldn't, we wouldn't as writers, we, <laughs> as writers, we wouldn't get away with it with, with an outline that wasn't kind of fleshed out but 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 like like the difference between uh how i write an outline how mm -hmm. phil writes an outline is that i don't get into in a strict details a lot of times i'll just say like what, you, what is what is generally happening in this in this so in give this. me an example really but you don't have to talk about i mean maybe a real show but like kind of how it started just so we can see how does it look okay so so i so how many pages would it be started, three a, a, an, out, an outline an outline is, is uh that i write maybe three four pages okay He'll he'll write sometimes like six. We're talking to time. you right now, Marshall. I'm trying to We're tell you not... the difference between it. Oh, okay. What, between what? what... <laughs> All right, fine. Okay. You wanted to speak for Phil? Was what, 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 what section is exasperate, Marshall? <laughs> because I think you've gotten to that point now. <laughs> okay, so. Okay. Wait. All right. So Phil writes longer. So some people could write an outline that's more than four pages. Yeah. Okay, but how do you do it? Because since you're this boss, I, I set up the scene first of all. I say scene one, wits end, um, uh, and then I, I set what, what's happening in the scene. So uh, Olivia comes through the door. Connie is at the counter, and and uh, oh, so you describe what's yeah. happening and what they're going to talk about, but not yes. necessarily write the dialogue. Exactly. Okay, so you understand my confusion? Okay. Now I'm I can sorry. picture I didn't, what I didn't, you're saying, I didn't and realize. not being a writer, you could just throw out all these writing terms and like denouement. I'm supposed to know what you're talking about. <laughs> Well, you know, which I do not. Not everybody speaks French as fluently as I do. <laughs> Apparently not. <laughs> to enjoy the full episode, please support us at patreon.com slash tell you later. Thanks a lot. You imploded. We, we had a lot of fun. He's, he's a great sense of humor. Yeah. Uh, actually, I should have him on here sometime. A great oh, sense be, of humor. He would be a great guest. He would. We totally goofed up. We were, we were teaching master classes at uh, somewhere in Indiana. I forget what okay. it was called. Uh, um, oh, goodness. I'll think of it. Tell you later. Tell You Later is a Patreon-driven entertainment show. So what are you waiting for? Come on over. Join us at patreon.com front slash tell you later. said no, I never said stop, never said go, go. This is so cool. Look at that. This is so awesome. Secret passageway, I think I just went through the secret passageway. Day at the lake. Trick a lake. 